Oh, hi. Oh, fuck. Oh, hi. <laughs> Didn't see you there. <laughs> so, you've decided to leave Doctor Who. It's understandable. You want to find new acting opportunities elsewhere. Except you didn't read the small print of your contract, did you? <laughs> well, let me be the first to welcome you to the weird and wacky world of Doctor Who Road. <laughs> okay, Bradley, cut. Right, yeah, so what's, it, the, yeah. what's the off button? Thank you, Bradley. <laughs> now, you may be thinking to yourself, why have I been forcibly imprisoned here? A valid question that I'll get a familiar friend to answer for me. When starting the show, you would have signed a contract of employment, which you almost certainly didn't read before signing. If you take a little look at it now, right at the bottom in the teeniest, tiniest little print imaginable, you'll see it says, when employment ends, my permanent residence will hereby be Doctor Who Road. I know I didn't see it when I read it. Each doctor lives in their own flat, and all their companions live together in their own flat. And the villains and whatnot, they live in a, I don't know, in a bin or something. Look, try not to think too hard about it. I am aware of what a ludicrous concept this is. So ludicrous, in fact, that if anyone takes it even remotely seriously, you should keep a fair distance away from them. What's it like here, I hear you ask? Well, as you have every Doctor Who actor under the sun under one roof, you can imagine it's quite banterous. But don't take it from me, take it from your new neighbours! Well, I'll give this place credit when it's due. I'm still alive, and that's pretty neat. <laughs> oh, and I get to look after dear Susan here, and you appreciate that, don't you, Susan? John Pertwee and I had the genius idea of merging our two rooms together, meaning we have double the space, more than anyone else in the road. We're brilliant, we've moved in together and I'm so excited. Oh, I didn't know you two were gay. Congratulations. What? <laughs> This place has some excellent Wi-Fi. I mean, granted, the trade-off is total imprisonment for life. Oh, and the constant threat of death. Hell, my good friend Anthony Ainley was taken away from me in this very road. I still don't know what's happened to him. Still worth it for excellent speed. Okay, Chibnall, can you pay me now? I'm not doing this. There is nothing you can offer me that will... What? Sorry, how much in funding? Hi, I'm Colin Baker, current Brigadier here at the unit. Oh my god, Doctor Who Road, the best. Five stars on Yelp. Oh god, I'm a sellout. Alistair wouldn't have sold out. Shut up, Bracewell. Myself and Ace don't have a lot of play in the action these days, but we are always pleasant for it. Well, only so we can blow shit up. Quite so. But you would expect us to be more a part of the action, as we are a favourite Doctor of you know who. But we are treated as just comic relief! Yeah, but it stops us being horribly maimed or psychologically wounded in any way. Which happens more often than you think from just a block of flats with some actors in it. Davros! You will not avert the time war. You failed once already. Yes, I know I have. That's why I will get it right this time. Because if I don't... I don't know what I'll do with myself. Um, Paul, you you all right there, buddy? Ready to do the advert? Go away, Chip. Oh, fuck off, Chibbers, I'm not doing it. Oh, come on, Chris, even Big Finish can book you these days, and I can't get you for this. Don't worry, I'll talk for him. Hi, I'm off out here, and let me just tell you, this place, oh, it's been amazing, oh, the things I've done. You all should know by now, with me, you are guys. Besides, the only person who can kill you. You? Why go this far? I wanted control, and I decided I'd do anything to get it. I'm returning soon. 
kneel before your writer. I said, kneel! All right, bloody hell. Is this not your natural state? Okay, look, I know we like a good reference around here, but stop being low key and Stop talking! You're gonna need something a little bit more powerful to break my force field. I regret nothing! But the things I'm going to do. Oh, by the way, Chris, I've got an idea for Rose's birthday present. Why do we have to do ours together? Well, I thought you two were friends. Trouble so doesn't get done with current events, so. Uh, what's this, Emmy? Life you interview and then we get what we want? What were you promised? Well, you don't want to know. How about you? A new switch, as the last one was broken, I'm sure you recall. Oh, we are not doing this again! Oh, that shit! Go on, go, leave me alone! You know, we're going to have to face this sooner or later. So, Doctor Who Road, full of fun and merriment. I have literally been blinded in this world by the rubbish that goes on. So trust me when I say that you have made a belly Big miss. So don't fret. I know life imprisonment sounds well daunting, but have fun.